Singer R. Kelly's fate is now in the hands of a jury. The 54-year-old is on trial for racketeering and sex trafficking charges. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has more from federal court in Brooklyn. This morning around 10.30, the judge began charging the jury, instructing them for about three hours. At 1.40 this afternoon, the jury of seven men and five women began deliberating. The verdict sheet is about seven pages long. 54-year-old Robert Sylvester Kelly is charged with one count of racketeering, which has 14 underlying acts, including kidnapping, forced labor, sex trafficking, and bribery. The government must prove at least two of the 14. He's also charged with eight counts of violating the Mann Act, which makes it illegal to transport anyone across state lines for any immoral purpose. The prosecution argues Kelly ran an enterprise of assistants, bodyguards, and others all used to recruit, groom, and exploit underage girls, boys, and young women for sexual gratification, using moves out of the, quote, predator playbook. Witnesses testified about being locked in rooms, having to ask permission to leave or use the bathroom. Some claim Kelly gave them herpes without disclosing he had an STD. It's alleged in 1994, a government worker was bribed to get the late singer Aaliyah, then just 15 years old, a fake ID so that Kelly could marry her because he feared he had gotten her pregnant. It falsely said she was 18. He was 27 at the time. Kelly has pleaded not guilty to all charges and has vehemently denied all accusations, but he did not take the stand. In 2019, he sat down with CBS's Gail King. I didn't do this stuff. Kelly's defense began its closing argument yesterday by comparing the R&B singer's trial to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s fight for constitutional rights and argued that witnesses lied on the stand, calling the accusers groupies trying to take advantage of his fame. The defense says he gave them them a lavish lifestyle. Again today, supporters of the singer are out here blasting his music outside of the courthouse. This afternoon, the jury did send a note to the judge asking to see all of the exhibits and asking for some readback of testimony. Outside of Brooklyn Federal Court, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. And Kelly is also facing charges in Illinois and Minnesota.